in the heart of the Amazon jungle in northwest Brazil is the Natex factory. It's one of the few places in the world that makes condoms from natural latex and sustainable practices. The factory opened in 2008 and is currently planning to double its production for 2012. Helen Clay reports from Brazil on how the company is looking to the future. 29-year-old DJ, as he's known in the Amazon rainforest where he lives, makes a deep cut in the Serengera tree. The thick white liquid it bleeds is improving his life and thousands like him in this tiny state of Acre in northwest Brazil. When I was 10 years old, I started helping my parents in this work. DJ is a rubber tapper who, along with 41 other men in this area, extract raw latex from these trees. He's lived in the forest all his life, the forest which is once home to legendary activist and fellow rubber tapper Chico Mendes. After pausing briefly to study in the local town, like many DJ returned after the opening of the Natex factory in 2008. DJ and around 700 other families benefit from tapping rubber here in this forest. What happens is they come along, make the cut, wait around a couple of hours for the pot to fill. After this point, it's taken to a central collection point and the van from Natex will come and pick it up and take it back to the factory. Natex is somewhat revolutionary, being a factory that makes condoms in the middle of the Amazon jungle. 150 people now work in the government-funded project initiated by Acre State. The factory supplies condoms to the Ministry of Health and now plans to install more machines and increase production in 2012. Josefa Magna is the technical director. Today we have the capacity to produce 100 million units annually. The idea is to double this production. We want to buy more equipment to double this production of condoms. The growth, of course, means more people like DJ who earns on average 70% more than he did before, can contribute. But crucially, it gives the rubber tappers the dignity to know that although they may be isolated geographically, they have the same rights as the rest of the world. Before, the rubber tapper was treated in a manner inhumane. That's the best word. Today, it's different. We are completely respected. No one can tell the difference now between a rubber tapper and someone who lives in the city. There is no difference anymore. Helen Clegg, CCTV, Acre, Northwest Brazil.